YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker, and uh, I'm uh, in Soul 603. Now, I want to know what kind of what kind of rocks do you have that have like tabs bent over on them? What kind of rocks I or rocks that come up onto like a beautiful like pole? I mean, this stuff has got some intricate stuff. But like I've been saying, they're just making a mess of these pictures. Like, see this? Alright. See how they put this fake rock here? I believe these are all CGI. Do you see what's hidden underneath it? Let's see if we can get this to focus. The quality is so bad that I, I, I'm having trouble even getting focus on this stuff. Let's see. Let's give it a second. Alright. You see this? You see this thing right when I move this dot, I want you to see what's there. See? They hid that underneath this rock. Let's see. Like you see the blurring? How you could see underneath the blurring? You see this thing? They got half of it. Oh, they got most of it. It's all in here. See, I believe... You see what's on the side of this rock where they couldn't, where the program doesn't fill in. You can see there's some intricate stuff here. And then they put this fake topping on it, a little shading. You know, basically, I mean, these guys that are doing this are just artists. It's really what they are. They're painting. They're just uh, helping the computer program, and I believe that these uh, guys come in and they just do touch-ups but most of it's done already for them see look at this thing now it comes to a point and comes up you know you see how you could see intricate things underneath this just fake blur you see this when you download these pictures and go look at them, like you could see this edge here that the the computer program missed. You see how it looks like there's carvings and all types of stuff. <laughs> I mean, this looks like it would be some type of part of machinery. You see the center part, and then it's got all types of... Uh, I don't know if that's lighting or what... But, I mean, you look at this thing out here. Look at the carvings in it. It's got a piece bent over. Then you got this piece that comes up. I mean, either NASA's getting very sloppy, or, like I've been saying, there's somebody or a couple people on the inside that are trying to get some of this stuff out to us guys and the public. Like, see this? This is all that tan stuff. That's fake. That's all just computer generated shading. There's something underneath that. Anytime you see one of those perfect, like, uh, perfect looking cut blocks, that's just computer generated. You see how this thing comes up? Now, this could be fake shading. Because it looks like there's something there. You know, and then you got stuff like this. You see the statue head that they blurred out? See? Looks like some type of animal. See a lot of stuff like that. I mean, uh, animals, you know, look like they were pretty important to them, you know? Like, you see this thing? See how they blurred it? See what's coming out of it? It's got like piping or something. God, I don't know what. You know. And like I've been saying, since I started doing these, and you know, a couple of these guys have really been getting hard into doing these pictures, the quality is just, it's just subpar. See how they blackened this out? And see what it looks like? It's got like metal bars or something coming out of it. You see the design? And all they did was put a black smudge in front of this. 
I mean, I don't care what, I don't care. What, the only thing NASA could do is just stop sending this BS down. Because this is not what's being relayed to the satellites in orbit on Mars. And this is not what's being transmitted to NASA or JPL. This is not raw. I mean, you see this? Do you see what's under this? This is not a rock, folks. You gotta listen to me. Even these, the other guys that are doing these videos, I'm not telling you what to believe. I just all all I want to do is advance our research and our cause. And you guys, please, you gotta listen to me. These rocks. This is not a rock. It's fake. Do you see the part that's underneath it here? That's and then they put this on here with a little CGI, a little shading. Do you see what's underneath here? I'm going to lose focus, but you'll get the idea. I just want to give you an idea. That's because the, the quality is so bad. It's either... This is the fifth take of this video. I'll see, you know, how this comes out. I've done four and I haven't liked them, so... Uh, but I just want to give you an idea. It's either me not doing these videos anymore... Or just doing the old stuff. Or this is the quality that we're going to have to deal with. Now, my viewers that know me and know what I'm doing. And know what I'm after. And know what I want to accomplish. Understand. I use a handheld for a reason. I know it's shaky. But I, I got to keep moving it. Because if I leave it in one position. You know, the line starts showing. And just the focus starts going in and out real crazy so it's just easier for me I've tried on a tripod and I hate the results you know every time I got to move it you know so but my my real viewers know no deal and like I said we're up to about 99% of you that know what's going on now now you see this is for my the guys out there doing these videos you see this statue do you see how they put this fake blur around it? You guys, everybody's got to listen to me. Do you see this? There's a statue here. See, it looks like a head, some type of paw or something coming out. And then this is just fake. You could see how it's all boxy and pixelated and they got that fake shade on the top. 99% of the time, look at this thing. See, they shaded some of it. I mean, a lot of the times the shading is not even in the right direction. <laughs> you know, like when I, what I do is I, I make a quick video of this. Wow, this looks like an open area with a gigantic statue. See how they blurred the top of this? See the face? Here comes the arms down. That's the body. There's the base. See the base down here with the shade? I'm going to trace what I think is a huge open area, but they just made a mess of it. See this? I believe you could, like, walk through there. See how they changed the colors of these? I believe these things are little brush. I mean, you see the intricacy in this stuff? You see this statue? See how close I can get. Do you see it? You see the shadow underneath it? This thing is huge. This is huge. See, here's another statue. See how they put that white, white blob right down the front of it? You see this thing? It's got piping coming off of it. There's piping here. All you guys that are doing the videos, please, please listen to me. All I want to do is advance what we're doing. When most people, when you look at these pictures, there's a lot of deception from NASA. They'll just throw, look at this thing, it looks like a huge disc blurred out. You see this? All they did was blur and pixelate these pictures. It's easy to do. You can actually go into Photoshop and pick pixelate. You see this? I believe this to be like a giant graveyard so you could walk through here. See these monuments? See this? 
when I go, when I see pictures of the desert and the Arizona deserts, you don't see stuff like this. Do you understand? There is symmetry. There is thought. There is human. Uh, there is... Somebody created this. There's just too much structure. Do you see this stuff? Go look at pictures of like the Mojave Desert and stuff like that. And you don't see stuff like this lying around. You don't see giant statues when you zoom in. See how they blurred the front of this? This is not a rock. There is a structure right behind that. See what they did here? See how they just put that blind in there? See this? How they blurred this stuff? You see this thing? You see the shadow underneath it? We would walk by this. And you would probably come up to that, that tip maybe a little higher. You see this? You see the pipes coming out of it? There's nothing that NASA's going to do that's going to stop me from finding this stuff. Once your mind is trained to look for this stuff, I mean, when I first started years ago, I used to look for that big rock or the, the, the spaceship or the truck or the giant disc. Then I started training my eyes. You can call it whatever you want. I just call it training or just teaching my mind to look for. See this? See how they blurred this out? See the statue? There's the mouth. There's the nose. There's the two eyes. Do you see what they did to it? You see this? They put this white blur here and then they just come along with this black and gray. See? There's something all underneath this. You see this? This almost looks like a person with longer hair in the back coming up to a wall that has some stuff on it. But you see how they pixelated it? You see this back here? See the statue? They just doubled it. it. Looks like it's going a million miles an hour. See this new one here? See this? There's one of the eyes. See? And then all you do is you come in here, blur the sun black, put a little shading on the side. That's all. I and mean, you just you're able to cover it up. There's not this many rocks on, on Mars. See how they blur all this stuff? See, when you look at this picture from a distance, you're not, you have no idea what you're, what you're even looking at. See, like this thing? See this? See how they covered all this stuff up? See what's in here? I started training my eyes and my mind to look for this stuff. You know, and once I started, you know, on it and my mind was recognizing this stuff it just pops right out at you I mean it's just so blatant like when I show you guys something you see how it just clicks in your head see this thing I mean come on that's not a rock you see this fake thing you could see right in it you could see that there's something there see how it goes in see the item here there's something there, and they just add it. See? See? It's not even good. See, there's one eye, the other eye. It's just a statue in there, that's all. See the stuff on the ground? See? It's just, all, it's just all added. It's easy to, to throw a rock in there over some of this junk. With a little shading. You see how, uh, let's see, let me show you, you see this? See how this shows through? You see what's under there? You almost see how they, they had to blur something there? It almost looks like there's a white building or pipe or something. It comes up here. See, it's just showing through, that's all. When they put this stuff in here, they, they have to soften it a little. 
they make it a little opaque, a little translucent, and that's where some of the stuff comes through. If they put it in and just leave the edges hard and the item hard, you're gonna see, you're gonna notice your eyes are gonna go right to it and say, "Oh man, that's fake." But the computer's just adjusting it, softening it up a little bit. That's why everything's blurry. See the top of these rocks and this stuff. You know, when you start looking at these rocks. See like this thing, you see what they blurred? You see this? See? There's something right in you could say it there's something in there. It's hard for me to get it all to come out on camera, but uh that's why I want you guys see what they did here? See this? That's why I tell you guys you gotta go download these pictures. Town over here. See this? Oh, he's on the edges. There's a lot of good stuff. And I could show you pictures of the rover that I could see a little piece of dust. So don't give me this BS that this has to be like this. All pixelated because it's nonsense. You're not talking to some idiot with a third grade education, NASA. See the statue? See around the head, the base? See this back here? They just blur them out. They do the same thing. They got this blur and then they got that little, that little horrible white that they put on the side of it. See this? See how they put this blur? See this? Part of it's shining through this thing. See, they just put this black over it. Part of it's showing through. I'm back, NASA. I was sick for a day or two. And I'm back. So, look, they tried to blur this. You see what's underneath it? Yeah. Look at this beautiful little statue. So like I was saying before, what I do is I take a quick uh, quick video of the picture. I try to do the whole thing. And then I put it on my uh, giant screen LCD. And uh, sometimes I go, you know, a couple seconds, freeze it, examine it. A couple seconds, examine it. It looks like a box. See these statues in here, they blurred couple seconds, you know, and then just keep examining it, and I make little notes, look at this beautiful thing, look at this, oh my god, why do you have to do this stuff to this, oh my lord, what we are missing out on, well, I, I see about 65, maybe 70 percent of it, but the most of the public has no idea. And most people don't even care. That's the sad thing. You know, most people are caught up in going to work, making their mortgage payments. You're not going to get, you know, most people. Look at this, that they blurred out. Look, you could see into it. This is supposed to be a rock. Look at this. Almost looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. See? Now this comes up. See what's under there? And then it's see? It's fake. See? Like this just this is just mysteriously coming up. And then see all this fake blocking. See how they try to block this? They come up. Look at how perfectly. See what they're block. What they're doing is they're trying to cover up this statue here. Yeah, come up, put this perfect triangle, a little shading, and they're just covering what's underneath here. Yeah. 
Alonso. So I put them on my TV, and I watch, and I go over them for a couple hours. Most people don't have, you know, I find that time. I make a lot of sacrifices to do this, you know. It used to be a hobby until I decided to share it with everybody. And now it's, it's you know, it's a lot of work, but I'm not going to stop. I know what, I know what's real. You know, I got a real, pretty good education. You know, I'm not mentally ill. I don't have any mental illnesses. Just an average guy. You know, and I know what's right. I know what the truth is. And uh, I think everybody deserves to know the truth. You know? This is just horrendous. I mean, the average person can't open one of these pictures and say, man, that looks fake. That don't even look like sand. I mean, the average person, you know, when they got this, they put up, it's just, it's just all, all nonsense. Just, it's, it's actually embarrassing. See what's hidden on there? See? How it pops up. For all you know, that could be the roof of a building. It's going to all go down. It's easy to create this. Very easy. Alright, guys. I got a couple that are... I got a couple things that I'm working on. Um, you know, I'm going to... Upload a couple things tonight. Uh, you know, Sunday I got a couple couple things planned. We'll see how they turn out. Like I said, the pictures are worse. So, you know, like some of these, I got to do a couple of takes. So you do, you know, you make a twenty minute uh, video, and then it's no good. You do that three, four, five times, it starts adding up. But I just keep doing it until I like like what I see. So. I'm going to try to do my best to get a couple out this weekend for you guys. The only thing I ask of you is to like, subscribe, share. You know, let's keep it positive. And if you can, just shoot NASA an email. It's very easy. Just shoot him an email and say, hey, listen, man. I, I see this guy, Mark, from Truth Seeker. He's showing me some wild stuff. What's the explanation for this stuff, NASA? Even just if you asked him about that piece of machinery I found the other night. You know, I mean, they, they actually put stuff in the news like that light, which, I don't know. I mean, that's that could even have been created by them to take some of the slack off of what's really going on out there. Us guys hitting this stuff hard, you know, to make it look like they're addressing UFO issues or alien issues. Like that rock that looks like a donut. I mean, that was such a joke. I mean, it was just pathetic. You know, a couple of years ago, they found a statue of a man or a lady sitting down. I mean, they should have been over there taking samples of that thing, pictures from every direction. But you see how that was swept under the rug. But they went and they checked out a rock that looked like a donut. Okay, NASA. You're doing real good. Really good. The guy that's, run the guy that's running the show there... Because you never know who's really running the show. I just want to let you know, brother, you're a real effing nitwit. Just want you to know that. You want you to grow a set of balls and let this stuff out there and give it to the people. People deserve to see this stuff. The world, the American people that pay your salary, they deserve to see this stuff. You get all your funding. Now give it out to the people. Give the people what they deserve. I'm out.